we now want to prove the correctness of the algorithm. So we want to show that find intersection correctly computes all intersection points and the segments that contain them. How do we do this? Let P be some intersection point. We want to make two assumptions. First, every interior point that lies before P has been computed correctly. And second, the sweep line status contains all segments intersecting L in left to right order. So we will do a proof by induction. For that we have to show that this holds in the very beginning. We have to show that we can uphold this in every step. And we can show if this is correct at the very end, then the whole lemma holds. Let's start with the beginning. If we start with the very first intersection point, then there has been no point before that, so obviously they have all been computed correctly. And since we didn't have any intersections on and since we didn't have any intersection points so far, the only thing we did in the sweep plan status was add segments that start at a point and remove the segments that end at a point. And we insert them into the binary search tree, so clearly all the segments that intersect the sweep line are in correct left to right order. What is at the very end? If we have found the very last intersection point and this holds for every intersection point, then it immediately follows that all intersection points have been computed correctly. So we only have to look at the steps in between them, where we can assume that this holds for up to some intersection point, and we want to show that it also holds afterwards. What are the cases that we have to look at? Basically, there are two cases for P. The first one is it's not the interior point of any segment. This is our case one. What happens now? P is clearly the endpoint of a segment, so we have already inserted it into the queue in the very beginning when we initialize the queue. The segments that are in U of P, so that start in P and go downwards, and those in L of P that end in P, that are stored with P in the very beginning. When we process this point, we output all the segments in u of p and l of p. So we output all the segments that start or end in p. Notice that by assumption p is an intersection point, so there are at least two such segments. And since it's not an interior point of any segment, this is enough. We don't have to report anything else. So all segments that contain p are reported. And clearly the sweep line status is still correct since in this step we just remove all the segments that end in P and we add all the segments that start in P. The second case is that P is an interior point of a segment. This is our case too. So the set C of P is non-empty. In this case we also have to report P. If P is also the endpoint of some segment, then we already inserted it into the queue at the very beginning. So it's already there. And in that case, we can proceed exactly as in case one. Everything is clear. We will report it. We will remove all the segments that end there. We will reintroduce all the segments that start there. We remove and re-enter those segments that go through P. Everything else changes and is not affected. So the three plan status is still correct and the point is reported. But if it's not the endpoint of some segment, then it's not clear yet that it is actually in the queue. So we have to show that at some point P entered the queue, that our algorithm finds it. So we have to show that at some point P is inserted into the queue before L reaches it. Let's have a look at the situation that we have here. We have some point P, it lies in the interior of at least two segments because it's not the end point. Here we even have three and we have a sweep line that goes through P. Now, how do we find out if P has ever been added to the queue? There are at least two segments that go through P and we choose any two of them that are neighbors. For example, here we can choose these two segments. They are neighbors in the circular order. 
Now what we will do is we will go slightly back in time. We will move L up a little bit. Right before it entered P, but after any other event point that was before P. In the three plan status at this point, S and S prime are neighbors. If we go back to the very beginning of the algorithm, then there was no segment in the sweep plan status, so clearly S and S prime were not neighbors there. That means there has been some point in our algorithm where S and S prime become neighbors. In this case, this is this point, the endpoint of this segment. The segment is removed and now S and S prime are neighbors. But whenever two segments become neighbors, because either because someone is removed or because someone has entered, we do our find new event subroutine. And then we check whether they intersect, we find the new event point P and we add it to the queue. So at this point in the algorithm, our point P will have been added to the queue. And this is basically all we need, except that we also have to make sure that every segment that has P as an interior point is added to the set C of P. How do we do that? Instead of looking at these two neighbors, we look at all neighbors in the circular order around P. So we don't only look at these two together, but also at these two together, and we repeat the same argument. That means for all these pairs of neighbors, at some point, when they became neighbors, we found P as the new event point. And in that step, if we look back into the step of the algorithm, we also added both of these segments to C of X, or in this case, C of P. So we know that all the segments that contain P as an interior are added to the set C of P, so they are all correctly reported. And that's all we need for the correctness. In the final part, we will now analyze the runtime of the algorithm.